Brighton is a joker. He's, a, he's an actor. And uh, unfortunately, he's using the child to propel his career in, uh, in acting. That is all acting. That is not child kidnapping. You don't, you don't report on YouTube. You report to police station. If it was to get that child, one came but a long time ago. So what they are doing is just to propel an agenda of getting views and subscribers on their channels. But it's not purposely like uh, William Toyoko kidnapped. No, it can't happen. It doesn't happen like that. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, come on, come on, come truth watch dog hapa. Na kuleta ukweli kadawa, ukipendo na meza, ukikata, tunakumezesha. Kwa ni iko nini? Na tukona evidence. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. uh, mambo vipu wada una karibu kwenye Classics TV Kenya. Na hileo tukona truth, truth watch dog. Yeah. Tunataka atuongeleshe leo tuambi ukweli mambo vile yako kwenye ground. In a song. Hindi wa the real sauti yeah, the, ya the grau. Real, yeah, the real sauti. Nicheki kuna msana ita, anajita sauti ya ground. Mm. Ule ni sauti ya TikTok. Oh, kuna sauti ya ground oh, sasa. Nime muona yeah. by the way. Uh, na leo uh, truth, uh, I'm concerned about the human meat project. Okay. Na inanistua sana. Okay. It's a world mali tumefikia. What's going on sa hii? Uh, this human meat project is actually an extension of uh, population control. If you realize that there was a uh, corona and it took a number of lives and uh, it's, it's, it's actually out there. It depends with where you are finding your information. It's out there that uh, this was a man-made disease. Nasio propaganda. It was all but man-made disease. And the funny thing is uh, whoever is actually leading this thing they are so much interesting, uh, interested in controlling what we are consuming. Mm. Because, uh, for example, I'll talk of uh, Umtu Najita Bill Gates. Mm. When he came, he had a, he, he's here in Kenya, by the way. He has an idea of giving us, as usual, Africans, we are beggar. And I hope my president wakes up. So they give us the seeds and they give us some kind of fertilizer that these seeds, whatever we grow, we cannot grow any other regenerating. You know, like a seed. Uneza panda maindi, and then you grow for this specific kind of uh, grains, they don't reproduce. Mm. You get? Done. Completely. Hakuna kuitumia tena. So, unapata, wakati wanapanga hizi vitu na juuliza, mimi kama mkulima sezi reproduce food, what even niki kwa zambegu next time mama niko sepesa, unabidi utegeme kwa hawa. And then wakona meat. So, wana manisha, it's like sisi ni kuku. Wana to feed stuff, uh, specific meals, so that they can get specific results when it's time now to be slaughtered. On a get? Mm. Because actually US is the leading in, uh, in child trafficking and it is known worldwide. Okay? Mm. It is known worldwide. And then they are the ones who may create company in Lincolnshire. Yondo energy feature kwa kusema they are producing meat, human meat actually. Ati they, ati kuna donors wako mahali, wana, wana, wana patiana some of their uh, parts. Yeah, they are in terms of CG, at you allow one extract stem cells, one create. At Katai, they started with cows, they started with sheep, and now they are saying that actually, one may study Mulia Binadam Sana Kulikov and one may study Mulia Yawanyama. So, one on Binadam Wakosawa, Mulimoja Binadam in as a feed 40. Yes, nonsense. Allow for uh, at Ngombez in a ribbon environment. Ngombez in a ribbon environment. Kama zinaribu environment, when do you make a ngombe in excess? Yeah. When do you have to be controlled? Una get? Is ngombe is distributed? Mali tafauti tafauti. Yeah. So that if it is this that is happening here, then we have to check that. And then what does the cow feed on? It feeds on hay. Why don't you grow the hay? Una get? It is not the trees that are being cut down. So una pata, it's a very lame excuse to start uh, cannibalism. Ujua kwa kuna ushatani sana. U.S. kuna mashatani, kuna church of Satan, kuna pedophiles wengi sana than any other place, kuna watu wanajita mareptilia, wanenda mbako wana shepmeno, ati wanakula wasi, wana get? Just demonic acts. So that's all about it. Yeah. Na ikifika Kenya unaona itakuwaje? Kifika Kenya mesha fika. Mbona tuko na trafficking mob hapa? But there is more trafficking. Yeah, there is a lot of child trafficking, human trafficking. And recently kuna... Kuna wa Nigeria pia wako huko Kenya. Wana tumia video mvietu na tamazao. Ku, ku do trafficking of medicine. Alafu unendo na madua. So that evidence is never found. Yep. Uh, in real life, I believe there is kidnapping. 
but mm. uh, recently there have been this trending story of a guy amesema mtu wake amekidapiwa which to me i believe it's not true what is the name of that person huyu jamaa anaitwa b what this brighton 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 ah, that is a joker mm. you are to see and mm. brighton is a joker he's a he's an actor and uh, unfortunately he's using the child to propel his career mm. in uh, in acting that is all acting that is not child kidnapping you don't you don't report on youtube you report to police station yeah by the you kitu many iko in any concern more ni like anatumia mtu hii na anakuja public on youtube kusema mtu hii amekidapiwa and such ame report wapi si sidani kama report kwa any police station ama anywhere yes because mtu wako akipotea wife wako amepotea the first thing you need to know ah you get a video umetumiwa run to the police office ah niaje ah police station i mean this is what is happening this is my wife this is my kid please i need your help how can we trace these calls at you ndio hao wameongea eh eh wame threaten kwa video ametuma you are sending there your faces the government has your your information what i could trace what are these calls they talk up is video where was this video coming from they'll find those people no no our government let me tell you government yet yes yes there is a lot of corruption but that that doesn't mean that the police does, do not have the ability they do so if it was to get that child one came but a long time ago ko. so what they are doing is just to propel an agenda of getting views and subscribers on their channels but it's not purposely like a huyo mtu yako kidnapped no it can't happen it doesn't happen like that kiki tu ah kiki kawaida kipindi mm. Mm. Uh, world coin imekuja mm-hmm. wasi walijengwa madao hapo madao saba nini nini yeah. <laughs> most walisema kenyans wanauza souls zao mhm eh, gavai kakuja ikakanyagia hiyo story ikasema Uh, like for example nilitembea KCC one day hiyo hiyo ndio kesho yake i think ndo walianza kufukuzwa sasa wapo sema huko sasa kumefunga hakuna space july nilikuwa ina, inatoka huko KCC ndani inazunguka hapo supreme like wase walikuwa wamejaa sijui kama ni idleness imekuwa mingi ama ni vijana wana kazi mm. na sasa hii nasikia kimeanza kuaramba tena like uh... Mimi waambiwa si. If you don't listen to Watchdog, we ngoja kitakuramba lazima. Okay, about the souls hapo, it's very difficult to come and sell someone souls. How do you sell souls? You don't. Ah, huh? unaona? Wana associate na satanism which is not true. So this thing about the world coin, uh, the biometric that they are collecting. Sio gavai na collect. So unaona kama kulikuwa na ujinga ya huduma namba? Yeah, huduma. You remember that thing? Yeah, yeah. Ikaenda wase wengine walipata makadi zao, wengine kasi zetu hatujaipata makadi zetu. Uh, by the niko na yangu. Unaona? <laughs> But that huduma number is doing nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah. So these are world coin. It's a private person with private investors intending to make there be a currency yenye kila mtu anaweza access. As long as you are going against the dollar as an individual, uko na shida. Kama sahi African leaders for example, They just want their freedom like uh, we want to be treated as, in, as an equal mm-hmm. to kwa na currency yetu ni shida wana tukoroga hapa na hapa wewe unakuja na world coin yako wewe ni nani una get mm-hmm. so this thing uh, it could have very negative adverse <coughs> results at the end of the day imagine if these people decides like uh, ile person anaweza kuwa nayo ni 300 coins eh? mm-hmm. you can never have it they decide inflation you cannot do nothing unalewa they decide you cannot buy from this company with our currency and that is the company you trust so an individual having that power over you is what scares people the most una get mm-hmm. and then also value yake it is not stable unalewa mm-hmm. uko hapo utapata maybe sahi ina trade na 2 dollars maybe kesho upate bitcoin umefanya kitu yake ama ethereum umefanya kitu yake unapata kwa natununge uwezi yeah, sell anything mm-hmm. so the instability and then also the lies zenye ziko nyuma ya bitcoin venye wana iskuma una get venye wana iskuma wapatie wote information ulikuwa unasikia mtu anauliza umesema unakupa pesa ngapi 10k wewe 7k wewe nimesikia tu ni pesa hapo lakini bado sijajua give us full information details una get so world coin i had want people just like i want them uh, when it came to btcm they they thought i am poor which is uh, the insult of many Kenyans you are poor you're not an investor you have nothing to invest stop stop telling people this is a lie at the end of the day they lost almost 2 billion and i'm i'm, I'm just here like uh, how do you feel maskini mwenzangu 
kuja kwa desk tukae tunaweza potesa kumekuwa actually kumekuwa na a lot of hizi nini zinakuja watu wana deposit ndio zao una mkamanda ya subuhi unakuta exactly hiyo do ama kuna hiyo site tena yeah people have lost their money because uh, tuko na tamaa tuko na greed and then there is also unemployment alafu kuna hii sana sana the ages of uh, 18 to 30 hapo mm. unapata they are idle such idle minds they are lazy yes most of them are lazy mm. because wezi niambia hapo na unaenda kupanga line the whole day at ulikuja 6 the same 6 unaamka amka uende mjengo pesa yako iko guaranteed the same 6 unaamka mm. kama uko na 200 anza ka biashara ka 200 watu wa njugu wanzangi na 1000 watu wa biscuit wanzangi na 1000 una get mm. mama mboga mwingine unasikia na kuambia nilianza gana nilianza gana so billion stuff so I, I really pity them because it is their laziness that is actually eating them. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Tuki talk up uh, some few days ago. Kuna kuna story flani niliskeki ongelewa like some few ladies were like deported from Saudi Arabia. Kuna yes. our ladies wana nda Saudi. Wana nda kufanya kazi. Si tu nadiwa po kazi. But juzi tumesikia wame deportiwa because of uh, wengi ni wagonjo, HIV. Mm -hmm. What's your take on this? Because kila siku tunawana wakienda huko, like on a daily basis, mandege zinajatu kuenda Saudi. Wengine wanakuja kama wawesha daddy. Mm. Is something wrong with our ladies? Uh, it's not our ladies, you know. It depends with what uh, your environment puts you mm. in. So kama, yes, kuna wakenya wengi sana najua. Sisi tunajijua tuko na tabia mbaya. Eh? Not ladies, men, ah, tuko na tabia mbaya. Mm. But you find that hii tabia hata inescalate wakati unajipata kwa kwa environment enya iku support. Mm. Una get? Mm. So labda wanaenda huko, wanajita makemboi. You are running away in a foreign country. Mm. Then the only thing ude mana pata, ni kitu waneza huza ni nini? Ikus. Ni roskoko. Roskoko. Mm. Tumaragu ya paka bisa, anauzia, anauzia watu ya makuwa na maindi. Unaona? <laughs> eh? Na meshake. So you find that uh, at the end of the day, life is pushing them to that uh, corner. Mm. Na hawana kitu ya kudu. So what do they do? Hawana option. They give up, uh, they give themselves up. Mm. When I get. So I wouldn't really want to point fingers mm. because when I put up your gava, kuna vanye inachili hawa se wana, hawa sichana wana tumiwa na waze. Guka yako, anataka kulala na uyo msichana. Baba yako, anangoja mama yako ahende alale na ye. We mwenye unangoja hapo alale na uyo msichana. Una get. So, we can't just say that uh, it is the negative from our side. Yes, of course. Kuna palinisikia hawa sana wamekemboi. They really misbehave. They fight over men. They do this. But all of that, I don't think they do it. They are doing it to enjoy. They are doing it to get money. At the end of the day, kama una dopa ale na ele ni foreign country, we utakula, utakula shida. So, I really, really pity the situation. But at the same same time, I really call upon Kenyans. Before Ranu uko inje, have you exo exhausted everything in Kenya that you can try? Because kama mimi hapa, mimi jobless. Una get? But I'm trying to sell uh, one, two, three things. Nanunua hii, nauza huku, nauza huku, nanunua ingine. And, and, and at the end of the day, maisha nasonga uki hope, tomorrow will be a better one. Instead of rushing for greener pastures, nani alikombea Saudi kuna hata miti? Ninjana jua. Just technology, una get? And technology is not nature. There is a difference between... Nature is an automatic technology that we cannot outdo. And anytime we outdo it, by building skyscrapers, heat in a kuja, you cannot control heat. Una get? Oh, lazima tutumia sijui ma AC, sijui DC, squeeze, sijui atatumia siari ama GSC. We have to understand that when you mess with nature in terms of technology, you'll always pay the price. Look at China, look at India, look at US, yeah? So at the end of the day, unapata hao ndi wana mess na ozone layer. Kuliko sisi wenye tukua hapa na hizo technology zao. So at the end of the day, this is what I tell Kenyan women and men. If you know you can survive, then go. But if you know you'll be crying on the corridors of Saudi, please, how jafkuz wa Kenya? You are still a Kenyan citizen, just either stay or come back. But it's unfortunate, kuna tutabia yes, one, two, three. But uh, for me, my country, I always defend my people. I can never talk publicly negatively about my country. That is me being loyal. At least that is my, my oath. Yeah. Uh, Santi sana kwa mda wako. <coughs> Tunashukuru kwa kututembelea leo kwenye Classics TV Kenya. Yes, sir. Hadi wakati mwingine, it's your handsome boy home and away. Director Dyer.